Hello there. Um, today I am going to give you my first MLB recap. <laughs> and to start it off, Rowdy Tellez. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Another two doubles. Okay, two doubles. I will link to the highlights down below and just. Doubles in seven at bats, I believe. Six hits. All six of them were doubles. He he beat the AL record ever. But I don't know about NL, but yeah. And they took the game by a score of three to two all the way into eleven innings. Pilar was was Superman, basically. Well he didn't but um he got a walk-off home run to left field. Um, yeah, I'll just show you all of the stats from every single game in the MLB. So as you just saw the stats in the standings from every single game in the MLB, Seattle, so I'm going to focus mainly on Seattle, the Blue Jays, wait what, Seattle, the Blue Jays, and the Dodgers, because those are my three favorite teams, I live in Vancouver, so of course I'm a Seattle fan, and um, Seattle um, lost to the Yankees, 4 to nothing. they were like, Key game, but they couldn't pull off the victory, and then the Dodgers won their game <laughs> four to two against the Rockies. So I think that's good for the Rockies. I'll just show you the standings right now. And in the AL East, Boston's leading New York 8.5 games. So I think it might go to Boston. Um, they, I don't know if Boston won um, their game, and, but I know the Yankees did. So yeah. And now for the AL Central, Cleveland leading um, Minnesota 15.5 games. I think I don't. I don't really. Uh, I think it's for sure, I think, going to go to, it's not much of a, a, uh, it's not much of a, compare for the AL West, Houston leading Oakland 3.5 games, and then, uh, of course, uh, Seattle, I think they're 10 games back, I don't know if they're going to win it, but I think it'll be really close between Oakland and, um, and Houston, but I think he might go to Oakland. Now for the NL East, Atlanta's leading, I think, I don't remember how many games, so let me know in the comment section down below how many games Atlanta, I think it's 2.5 games ahead of Washington, I don't remember, but um, yeah. Now for the NL Central, Chicago leading four games, ahead of Milwaukee, and I have a really bad memory, so I don't remember the third. I think it might be St. Louis. I think they're 8.5 games back, I believe. So, yeah. Now for the NL West. This is probably the tightest division. The Dodgers and the Rockies are playing against each other in their series right now, and the Dodgers are not 10.5 games back. They are 0 0.5 games back, so that is just too close. And then there's four teams in the top. And Arizona's 1.5 games back. 1.5. And then the Giants are 10 games back. I think it might go to the Dodgers. Well, just because I'm biased and I'm a Dodgers fan. I just, just so you know, Corey Seager's my favorite player. And now I'll just show you Ludus Gurriel getting hit in the foot. It did not look good.
So that's gonna end this video, guys. I hope you liked it. Comment down below. I'm gonna do one every single day, and uh, today, guess what? I'm gonna be with Adam TV. Subscribe to his channel, and uh, yeah, like, subscribe. Thanks for watching.